children. You will no doubt be delighted to learn that this school play was green for go. Oh. This year, we are going to perform Romeo and Juliet. Excellent. If anyone would like to be in the play, they should come to the gym to audition. Of course, we're going to learn a play for those preteen ignorant. Uh, for those interested. Long ago in Verona, there lived two families, the Montagues and the Capulets. Blah, 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 blah. This is the last warning you're going to get! What? What exactly did I do to this time? I've had quite enough of your fat F-grade collection, and I have never seen F-grades more miserable than this! One more failure! And you will be in school for your whole school holiday. Do you understand? Where were we? Blah, 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 blah! People won't get involved these days unless they can make out. Wow, Mari, what are you doing here? It's my mom. She wants me to be participating in stage reacts. She says it would help my self-confidence. Uh, I never thought of you would be so interested in theater. Lucian, the play is just the thing. I'm trying to get an important message representing world peace across with all poetry. Uh, Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Do you think everyone would get it? Come on, Wendy, work with me! Baby! I am working with you. Yes, but it doesn't seem like a real person. I want real. I see Shakespeare as real characters. You know, if you put me by your bike, I'll make sure my daddy can't thank you. What do you want this performance to say about you, Wendy? What makes you, you? Not to be in the play. That is the question. Lucian, you uh, ready, kid? Oh, uh, you wait. Yeah, uh, whatever. <clears throat> but soft. What light through yonder window breaks? Sorry, Mr. Pretty. Wayne Cramp. You're going to get it. Oh. May I stop you right there? Lucian, Wayne and I are going to have ourselves a little one-on-one. -on -one. Put it into action, Miss Hissy. Read. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the... What's that supposed to say? Envious... Sure, whatever. And kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief. And that thou that thou her maid art far more fair than she. <laughs> awesome job, Wayne. Awesome. <gasps> such passion, such energy. It's so in your face. Dear diary, you ain't never gonna believe what I am about to write down on yours. Come, children. Others need space too. <laughs> I just knew I'd have the talent and it looks to be Juliet. You are going to be my nurse geek girl. Huh. So much for my dignity. Hey, where's my name? Don't be dramatic, Lucian. What? I'm Romeo. Back off, Wayne. But, but, I didn't even want to be in the plane. <sighs> I might not like this decision. But I was hoping that this might in some way intensify your suffering. If you don't want the midsummer Snydener, you'll have to come on stage. No! Not fair! It's not fair. Why can't I be in the play? My dad said that's the way with the plan, Lucian. What did Mr. Pretty say? He said he liked Wayne's youthful vital energy. But I could be Wayne's under Johnny. What's that? It just means I could play Romeo if Wayne is not able to. 
Maybe I can make it so. Oh? It's not beyond the bounds of possibility that Wait. we could suffer a nasty accident. Be like a flower with the servants under it. <laughs> you scare me sometimes, Lucian. Play this people's I don't want to see a mature owl. How camest thou hither? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb. With love's light wings. <laughs> Ew! Gross! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> What is wrong with you? What's the trouble, Wayne? These clothes are stupid, that's what. We look like girl pants. The costumes belonging are traditional Shakespeare. In the person, please. Whatever, I do what I want. You sure about how in way in this interpretation? Of course, Miss Hissy. But he doesn't do drama or performing arts. Are you crushing another child's imagination and faith in the cultural? No way, Jose! You need a thing to look for us here, Tony. This place is creepy. It's like all the spirits have come back to reclaim their old appliances. Don't be absurd, Tony. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Quick, now! not gonna do it, Tony. We need to use psychological warfare. Maybe this swamp plant will help you, Lucian. It's supposed to come out, folks. Okay! Where's your candy? I have to practice. Listen to me, Wayne. You're not sensitive enough to play Romeo. You don't even like romance. Yeah, girl pants. I don't wanna kiss Wendy, but I don't wanna be in a store. Bob Summers. So that's what this is all about. Hey, you can be me. Huh? Why should I help you? You will soon. We're cartoon characters, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You better. What's that all about? Uh, I'm not sure this is a good idea, Wayne. Nonsense, poopy pants. You're a double cat. Romeo, doff thy name. And for thy name, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. <laughs> Good job, kids. But I think they are much to work, Wayne. I so enjoyed working with you. But maybe you should be suitable as Tybalt and Lucian to play Romeo. <laughs> what is a piss you? Wendy? Yes, Lucian Crab. I want Wayne Crab. No, Mr. Pretty. If you change Wayne's part, you're wasting time. But I won't have you parasites interrupting my big night. I'm sorry, but I have no other choice. If you entered into a contract of trust, you must keep up your side of the bargain. Wayne! This is getting out of control. All this makeup's giving me a rash. Bet you wish you thought of it. I think we need more petals. Boys and girls, Miss Hissy is not in charge as she on a date. The play has all arranged. No! I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. If anybody should be in the start, I should! Not geek, girl! But Wendy, I know it's hard, but you can be fulfilled as a supporting that! Well, you can't forget about my dad's fingers! Listen, Wendy, you won't feel like the actress you are! Do you understand? Oh, all right. There we go. Our school play. Stand back onto the right track. As Shakespeare said, Wayne, take off that dress. Hi, 
Hi there. Good evening. Enjoy, Mr. and Mrs. Crab. Welcome in. Welcome. Ah. The fault deep lies not in our stars, but in ourselves that we're underling. Suppose she's not here. I wonder why Miss Hissy can't see the major event on the school calendar. She would never miss a chance to humiliate children. Good evening. You must be... Your words got me all in a tiz. <laughs> nope. Excuse me. But if you want to... He's in the yard. <laughs> Somebody tried to make an ass and a me. Wayne Crab. How now, a rat? I couldn't help it, Maury. Wayne put me into a trance. I, I can't refuse him. Children, stop it! Ow! Not like that, Wayne. How come the boys never mention they were interested in theater? They were Two households. Both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our sin. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. Hey! What is this? Don't try to come across, Tibbult. Consider that a warning! Montague! Don't talk like that. All right, let's show the cue shield. Hear how we deal with Montague's. Stop this business. Yeah. Huh? We should all keep our distance from each other in the future. If you get in trouble, or cause danger in my street again, you'll never last long in my plan. And that goes for you too, Capulet. Oh, hello, Mercutio. Uh, is Romeo in? We're in the same boat. Where is that Romeo? He has been kind of funny. There has to be a feeling behind it. Wait a second, Honey Apron. When I fell in love with you, I lost my appetite and stared at ceilings too. He must be in love. He probably doesn't even realize. They grow up so quickly. <laughs> oh, Romeo, are you okay? I'm perfectly fine. Are you sure? You don't have to keep the secret. It's just... Rosaline. Let's all... <laughs> uh, Romeo, do you like... Rosaline. Oh, of course I like... Rosaline. Mercutio. She's great. Um, no. I mean, do you like, like... <gasps> like? Like, like? You mean like, like? never going to get a girlfriend. I can't even talk to girls. You've got to get over this. Look there! Garlic. Bread. No, no, there! Party! No! We can't just infiltrate the home of our foe! It even reads no Montague's! Allow yes, but what if this is the damn to get in touch with your instinct and the girl love bird? I can't see this disguise working. Mercutio. Trust me, Romeo. You camouflaged in public. Like me. What do you know about girls? I've been on lots of dates. You just didn't notice. Love is powerful stuff. Romeo. Yeah, it might have worked a little too well. You keep on giving me the whole day. Make your mind up Cause when we're getting on it so, so, so You used to be my Romeo Cause you see my dear I have had enough Of keeping quiet about all this stuff Your new rock is like a yo, 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 yo You used to be my Romeo Let it all go
Forswear its sight. For I ne'er saw true beauty till this night. Hey! That's Romeo. Hey boys! You're gonna die! Montague! Hold your horse flies, young man. You can't just run around making trouble. What will the prince say? But uncle, he's an enemy! Let him be, boy. Oh, um, you look nice. Thanks. I'm Juliet. I just can't believe you want to dance with me. You're so lucky you get a fit in just like everyone else. What if you hold my hand? Oh, your hand is soft like your cheeks. But you go out with me. Uh, it's a date. Juliet. Your mom wants uh, you. Wait a minute. Where's your mom? The lady of the house. That's who? His name is Romeo and a Montague. That's who? I'm in love with the enemy. Oh, Romeo. Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Should I question everything my parents say? Resist, even? Why do you guys have to be a Capulet? That doesn't make a difference. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet, mademoiselle. Romeo. Why would you ever come in here? Careful. What if someone sees me? I can't see security guards around. Love. I can get myself. I said I'd go out with you. Romeo. But is this how you want to end up? <laughs> Are you already there? Juliet. Don't worry. Thanks, isn't this a bit risky? How can you survive? Look, I'll prove it. My heart belongs to you. We have got to get pitched. What do you mean? I know we're too young to get married or have sex. But I believe this marriage could stop this whole feud. Leave me alone. It'll be worth it. Juliet. Yes. Romeo. Yes. Uh, Sorry, I have to go now. Parting is such sweet. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. You know, I thought your face was familiar. Yes. Ron Lawrence. I thought you might marry me with my nerve. Would that be Rosaline? What? No, I am totally over here. Don't you see? I am in love with her. Daughter. This could end this whole feud. I see. So, Romeo would like to assist him with a Juliet. Yes? No! Too bad! Go away! Come again another day! Sorry. <laughs> I folks fun at you. Romeo! I have never seen such a killjoy. So try to plan this. Just as you suggested. Why, thank you, Rod. I was beginning to lose faith in the God! Romeo! I've been trying to find you! Tybalt is looking for a fight. Well, he's not gonna so, what is this all about? I already know you! We're nothing love Looks like a Juliet. In the party. No, no way, no, of course not! <laughs> oh, how could you? She's a scapulet. Scapulets. Don't hang out with Montagues. You should watch out, lady. What's a little kid like you gonna do about it? Hey! <laughs> oh, wait! Are you getting married in secret to your Montague boyfriend? Promise not to tell. Go to him. Go be my wife. Brother and sister together will make it through. Oh, yeah. Someday a spirit will take you and guide you there. Everybody's free. Yeah. Violent delights have violent ends. Romeo shall thank thee, daughter, for us both. Congratulations! Uh, <gasps> sorry, Romeo, but he was going to... Don't act all innocent! You've been perspiring with... Juliet. Conspiring? You mean conspiring with... Juliet. So, you just admitted it! No, I don't! <laughs> Bring it on! I do protest! I don't want to hurt you, but I love you like a brother... What? Hey, Tybalt, you asked for it. Yeah, features. Ow. 
just talk and try to get friends. I'm all right. I put a curse on both of your houses. Now, now I'm cat food. Tybalt, you left me no choice. Go ahead and try, Montague. Bad. From the you stand accused of murder. How do you plead? What about Tybalt? He's the one who sparked off this in the first place. The boy must pay. Let me life. Please forgive me for taking another life. I, I didn't mean to do it. Romeo from the You have been found guilty. And it is our common decision that you should be banned. Ah! Oh! <laughs> what? Uh, Come with me. A very this has been. <laughs> <laughs> Struck Romeo, sing the streets of serenade, laying everybody low with a love song that he made. Find the street light, steps out of the shade, says something like, You and me, baby, how about it? Juliet says, Hey, it's Romeo, you nearly gave me a heart attack. He's underneath the window, she's singing, Hey, like my boyfriend's back. Shouldn't come around here singing up at people like that. Anyway, what you gonna do about it? Juliet, when we made love, you used to cry. You said I love you like the stars above. I love you till I die. There's a place for us. You know the moon is soft. When you gonna realize it was just the I deserve it. I thought I forgive you, Romeo. You've got one chance to get out of this. Hide. Do you think we might just run away from here? I don't think finding peace was going to be that easy. Farewell now, my love. Well, he can't say I didn't warn him. Mary, my child, early next Thursday morn, the gallant, young, and noble gentleman, the County Paris at St. Peter's Church, shall happily make thee there a joyful bride. Sophie, gross! Have you lost your mind, young lady? This isn't right for me. I'm not having any excuses, Juliet. But don't give me butts. You get married, not your grounded. Ah! Maybe you should marry Paris. What? Romeo. Can I ah! He's not easy. I can't believe you. There's no way my family can force marry me. That's a shame. I'm sorry. I would rather die. Well, there's only one way out. You have to fake your own death, and you'll need to make it look good. To your mom and dad. Target Romeo. A message regarding this planet, and I'm gonna hear to be exact. I'm sorry, lover boy. Juliet died. It was so, so sad. It can't be. For pity's sake, why? <laughs> I defy you, stars. Juliet! Juliet! Any luck? Sorry, I. <laughs> Not a message. Over there. Romeo. It's in danger. Oh my life.
love. My wife. Death that hath sucked the honey of thy breath. I've had no power yet upon thy beauty. Tree, shut up! Oh, take your last embrace. And lips. Oh, you the dawns of breath. Seal with a righteous kiss a dateless bargain to engrossing death. Remember what we ever thought of never again, Montague. For never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. <laughs> this stage is for performers only. Go now. All right, everyone. The school play is now concluded. I'm sorry you had to be subjected to this spectacle. And as for you, Wayne. Oh, that Hillary, that kids were amazing. Those kids brought out a statement. He's right. right. Listen to the innocent. The child speaks the truth. You know, I may be better at being a nurse than at being Juliet. I know this was actually fun. <laughs> this has all been a mix-up, Miss Hissy. But all's well that ends well. Okay, fine. You were excused from summer school, Wayne. Woohoo! You win this time, you little in the... If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended. That you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, no more yielding but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. So good night unto you all. Give me your hands, if we be friends. I shall restore amends. 